I organized everything like they said. So why does it still feel broken? That's the problem nobody talks about, right? You've built your knowledge system, so you know immediately where to store and retrieve your personal information. But your system still feels chaotic. Information's disappearing, your team can't find what they need, and you're constantly wondering, should this note go in my personal system or share it with the team? Here's what research shows. 86% of employees say that the lack of effective communication and collaboration is the main cause of workplace failures. And knowledge workers spend 14% of their work week just trying to communicate and collaborate internally. That's seven hours every week wasted because nobody knows where information lives. If you can relate to this, let me know in the comments below. By the end of this video, I'm going to show you the critical distinction between PKM, personal knowledge management, and BKM, business knowledge management, that stops this chaos. So here's what's actually happening. Where did I put that client info? My notes? The team drive? You're capturing information, but there is a hidden problem most professionals never recognize. You're mixing two completely different types of knowledge in the same place. Personal knowledge that belongs only to you and business knowledge that needs to be shared with your team. McKinsey research found that improving internal collaboration through proper knowledge tools can raise productivity by 20 to 25%. But only if you're using the right systems for the right knowledge. When you blur this line, you create invisible friction. You're constantly second guessing. Do I keep this private or share it? Your team can't find critical information because it's trapped in your personal notes. And you can't think clearly because team discussions are cluttering your personal knowledge management system. This isn't about being disorganized. It's about not understanding that personal and business knowledge require completely different approaches. That's where the distinction between PKM and BKM becomes critical. Here's the difference. Personal knowledge here, team knowledge there. That's why it was so confusing. Now it makes sense. PKM, personal knowledge management, is your individual work with knowledge, your notes, ideas, research and insights that belong only to you. This is where your personal learning and thinking happens. This is your thinking space, your learning engine, your personal development system. BKM, business knowledge management, is your team's shared knowledge. The documents, decisions, processes and information that need to be accessible to others. This is where collaboration on knowledge happens. It's not about organizing your thoughts, it's about making sure the right knowledge reaches the right people at the right time in the right context. Here's what changes when you understand this distinction. First, you stop polluting your personal thinking space with team information. Your PKM system stays focused on what you're learning and developing. No more team meeting notes cluttering your personal knowledge base. But beware, you may still take meeting notes in your personal knowledge management system. But those insights just are relevant for yourself. Second, your team actually finds what they need. Critical business knowledge lives in a shared system where everyone has access. No more, that's in my notes somewhere, conversations. Third, you make instant decisions about where information belongs. Client feedback, business knowledge management, BKM. The team needs it. Personal insight about leadership, PKM. Personal knowledge management, that's your learning journey. And here's the powerful part. These systems work together. When you learn something personally that could benefit the team, you share it from your PKM to BKM. And when team knowledge sparks personal learning, you capture insights back into your PKM. Research shows that organizations integrating their knowledge systems properly see a 25% increase in team productivity. But only when you keep the distinction clear. Your productivity system works when every piece of knowledge has a clear home. If you want a complete framework for building both systems, including exactly how to structure your PKM with my life and the Capturing Beast, and how to set up effective PKM for your team, grab our free iCore Journey Starter Kit. You'll get a 120 page PDF playbook, a companion online course, and growth assignments that show you how to map your entire productivity system across the four areas 
areas, PKM, BKM, personal tasks and team projects. Everything you need to stop mixing personal business knowledge and starting leveraging both properly. Here's the truth. Your knowledge system breaks when you treat all information the same. Personal learning and team collaboration require different structure, different tools and different workflows. When you understand the distinction between PKM and BKM, you stop fighting your system and start leveraging both. So stop wondering where information should go. Stop cluttering your personal thinking space with team data and stop trapping critical business knowledge in your personal notes. Understand PKM versus BKM. Build systems for each and watch both your personal growth and team productivity accelerate. If this clarified things for you, thumbs up and share with someone whose knowledge system feels chaotic. And subscribe so you don't miss the next video. I'll catch you up in the next one.